Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video, guys. Sampath, you're watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 slash NFC custom ROM reviews. Back with new video, this is Dub Fest OS 14 version 14. Now you can see official stable for Surya 2024 539 in the May 13 build. This is and Android security patch is also 5th May 2024, which is latest year. Kernel version is 4.13.344. Kernel has been used in its status. Is enforcing and this is typical home screen and app drawer you guys can see and this is the quick settings toggles what we can get in this particular room in the edit section there are other options like if i can add, drag and add location dark theme and individually you can select the internet connection sync option is also available here and other options you can check out here i'll minimize it now i want to turn this off the location yeah you can see the double tap to wake or turn off the device and let me yeah this is the quick settings toggles you also see the data usage here and these are tiled in square manner you will get some customization check out my previous video guys and this is very very smooth there even now it is smooth but i can't give you conclusion here because just using right now i will be posting the video right now after this video only hence i can't complain that much but definitely the smoothness was there in the previous way that will be there for this version also and the settings panel will remain very similar i just want to showcase you this battery settings style you get simple here status bar items clock settings and traffic indicators again turn this on if you don't want always then just disable that and traffic indicators i explain carriage driver again there business settings like bgm high fs count and colored icons those things are given logo is also added in the miscellaneous they are still testing it out guys these things should be arranged in different way status bar lyric is option also given you can see here the battery percent and time is moved towards uh, right side if you guys can see again these things need to be addressed here island notification just don't use it guys it will be annoyed while playing games and uh, always on display and lock screen away and these general settings unlimited photo storage what i said before customizations you get plenty here again pulse the arrangement of this dark space should need to be improved a lot here again and battery you guys can see battery usage hasn't recorded but i can say the battery life is really good previous version and this version is same extreme battery saver is also given in this particular rom battery optimization block sensors battery information you will get these options here and sound and vibration again print of options here given vibration and haptics are given and pattern is also given media show player those options will be given here additional settings again remains very similar no direct sound settings here security and privacy you get both face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you that and there is even an app lock pre installed here anyhow we'll show you the fingerprint unlock speeds it's quite smooth and fast here you guys can see and the face unlock again it's also quite fast and responsive here and coming to home screen settings again it remains very similar to any android 14 roms as you can see lock screen customizations are also given you can actually change the size and color of it and intensity of it and home screen customization you will get some diverse wallpapers you can use third party wallpapers other things you can customize from here Accessibility menu again, it's a an handy feature without actually using the physical buttons. You can actually access some settings from there and into system again. If you go into show me parts here, direct sound settings has been given. You can choose the headphone type preset and scene selection from here. LCD features don't use this, guys. Keep it default because if you use it and start playing the game, it will drain your battery and make your smartphone hot. I mean, a little bit warmer updated don't use it flash through recovery flashing method is given in the description what is the firmware is everything is shown in the description this are the settings we'll see some results what i got from this particular rom starting with the gig source 673 is a single score and 1847 is a multi-score again 6.3.0 this is the latest update from geekbench guys previously it was 6.2.2 now it has been updated and it was from 14 links 4.1 4.344 kernel has been used 3,94,069 is the 
anti to benchmark results and the version i am using the application is 10.2.5 and temperature raise was just 0.7 degrees celsius down actually and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this enter testing and these are the safety net attestation checker you can check out the integrity and profile match settings get passing here and provide device is also certified hence using payment applications like google pay phone pay yono sb whatever you want to use those going to work fine no need to worry regarding that and this is the hdr 10 support and level 1 certified however the hdr videos will play a little bit brighter or anything like that l1 certification is there watching what it is not a problem and i have a retail fiber connection around 200 mps plan it's pulling up to 240 and these are the read write speed test with numbers and graphics you can see and charging slowly it is showing 354 pm it was 70 percent and 359 pm it is 76 percent i don't think so it's a slow charge there is a rapid charge support here let me know comment in the comment section regarding that you also get this uh, pre-installed apps you can check out my previous video let's see bgm how it handle in this particular rom starting with the graphic settings you guys can see here smooth plus ultra only nothing like extreme or extreme plus but using magics models and gfx tool you can increase that there is a lag in the gameplay guys can see there was a lag in the UI as you can see even on the counter attacks there is a little bit of lag again guys it depends upon several factors here one of the factor main reason is 40 fps and i haven't downloaded uh, files all the files of the game that also makes huge sense The gaming experience could have been better. At least they would have given options to increase high FPS. As you can see, when the counter attacks, currently it's fine compared to previous shot. We'll come back here. That's the Darfesh case. What I can say is this version of uh, Darfesh, I don't like it. Uh, it's good. Uh, definitely, it's a good camera application. You get basic camera. If you want to use any uh, G cam port, you can definitely use it out. Mm, everything is fine here the ui ui is it's fine but the previous version of darfest was a little bit a little bit smoother in my opinion compared to this particular version if you want to use it as a delta definitely you can use it out but use a uh, older version and again uh, check out flashing method and other things on the description guys uh, this is sampath we'll meet with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now